it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Joshua Graham's chilling execution of salt upon wounds seared into their minds. The surviving White Legs retreated to the Great Salt Lake. Unable to shake the memory of their brutal defeat and the dead horse's savagery in battle, the White Legs feared further reprisals. They fled north, out of Utah, into Wyoming. The wilderness was harsh, and the first winter claimed over half the tribe. When spring came, the survivors parted ways in small bands, and so the White Legs died a quiet, ignominious death. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. Watching as the courier encouraged Joshua Graham to execute salt upon wounds, the Sorrows learned that New Canaan offered no mercy to the wicked. The Sorrows' transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a merciless warlike people broke Daniel's heart. Over time, the Sorrows became ever more ruthless in their dealings, even with each other. Daniel traveled to and fro between the new Canaanites and Zion, continuing to plead for a return to the old ways whenever he visited. Eventually, the Sorrows grew tired of his blather and turned their backs on him. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the dead horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. With the White Legs crushed, Joshua Graham led the Sorrows and Dead Horses in tearing apart and burning the corpses of their enemies. He set about training his army in the way of the Canaanite, and soon the new Canaanites and tribes of Zion were feared well into the Mojave. Legends of the Burn Man grew even more depraved and terrifying. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland.